Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make a very simple slow cooker pot roast using very few ingredients, but getting seriously delicious results. First, I'm gonna heat some extra virgin olive oil over medium high heat. I use this Freddick stainless steel pan, but you can use a Dutch oven or even a nonstick pan if that's what you have. So we're just gonna lay this down once the oil is hot so we can get a really nice sear. I usually cook this about five or six minutes on each side. I just check it and make sure that it has a nice golden brown sear on one side before I flip it. Now I'm gonna use kosher salt, not iodized. Kosher salt is better for large pieces of meat like this. And I'll also be using some fresh cracked pepper just for the flavor. You can use regular salt if you like or already pre-ground pepper whatever you have on hand is fine it won't ruin the dish so once that's nice and seared you're going to flip it over and do it the same on the other side so about six minutes in the meantime we're going to mix up our sauce this is some really good balsamic vinegar then we'll add some dijon mustard and a little bit of brown sugar and thyme once you're done searing the meat, add the meat to the slow cooker that's already been on low, so a little bit heated. Add your onions that are chopped very large, carrots on top, and potatoes are always last. Add that sauce on top. And in the meantime, you can also deglaze the pan to get all those bits of yummy meat from the bottom of the pan with some vegetable stock or chicken stock or even beef stock, that would work too. And you can add a little bit of flour to make gravy and you can add that on top as well. And you can see that I like to add a lot of garlic to my dish. That is part of the delicious flavor. So definitely try that if you like garlic. Now we're gonna set this on low for eight to 10 hours, then come back and I'm just gonna double check that the potatoes are cooked. They should not be mushy. These are russet potatoes, but you can use Yukon Gold and they both work out delicious. Okay. Looks like we have perfectly cooked potatoes. Now we're just gonna shred the meat. So just remove the meat and put it on a separate plate. What you're doing is shredding the meat and also removing the very big chunks of fat. If you like the fat, you can leave it in. Now I like to sprinkle with some fresh parsley and there you have it. So easy and delicious. If you like this video, please be sure to hit that little thumbs up and subscribe to see more of my videos and turn on that bell for notifications.